The presidential election is still more than a year and a half away with former President Trump and the, the only declared candidate for office so far. But a new NBC News poll finds that a majority of voters say they're not feeling a rematch against President Biden next year. NBC News senior political editor Mark Murray joins us now for more on this. Mark, good morning. So this poll finds that both Biden and Trump seem to have unfavorable ratings among voters. How was the survey conducted exactly and what are some of the key takeaways? Yeah, our poll was conducted January 20th to 24th. And as you ended up mentioning, uh, the, the poll ends up finding roughly two thirds of uh, voters who say that they either have reservations or are very uncomfortable when it comes to candidacies by current President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. And what also really ends up standing out are just kind of the polar extremes of this question. You end up having just 7% of all voters who say they are really enthusiastic about Biden as candidacy versus 48% who say that they are very concerned. Um, and, and, and then you end up having for the former president, Donald Trump, where it's 15% enthusiastic. So that's higher than Joe Biden's. But then a, a larger percentage, a majority, 52%, who say that they are very uncomfortable with that. And so those are some of the broad looks. The good news for both men, though, is that when you look at just Democrats, uh, you end up having roughly two thirds of Democrats who say, hey, I am enthusiastic or are comfortable uh, with President Biden running uh, in 2024. And among Republicans, you find a similar share um, who are comfortable or enthusiastic about Trump. And remember, it's that early nomination fight. It's always the first one and sometimes the most important one when we, before we get to the general election. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, we're still pretty far out from that general election, but this could inform how campaigns work. And I know, Mark, according to the poll, Biden and Trump saw drops in support from voters who went to college and black voters, respectively. So what does this mean to any 2024 campaign strategy? Yeah, the last time we asked this kind of enthusiastic, comfortable, uncomfortable question was in February of 2020. And for Donald Trump, our poll found that there was a drop among college educated men uh, in people who end up uh, finding uh, or enthusiastic or comfortable backers of his. Um, and, you know, this is not the, the Donald Trump base. Our poll still finds 30 percent of Republicans saying they're very enthusiastic about Donald Trump. That is the uh, that that. That is the army. Emeritus President Trump is ahead of Biden by a seven-point gap in a current appraisal disclosed on Friday with the Hill from Harvard Caps Harris survey. Independently, the poll discovered Biden and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis are stalemated in a draw when those reviewed were requested to reveal who they will select in a face-to-face -face contest. The outcomes collectively point to the obvious might of Trump in the GOP primary as DeSantis gets ready to secure the competition as timely as subsequent calendar week. Trump had spearheaded DeSantis in several polls of GOP electorates by duple figures. DeSantis has made the illustration that he is the best overall election contender to compete with Biden, but the freshest poll fosters queries on whether that's the scenario or not. The analysis uncovered 47% of applicants who took part in the survey professed they would ballot for Trump if the 2024 voting was today and Trump and Biden were the political party's corresponding applicants. 40% supported Biden, while 13% said they did not discern well, they or were uncertain. I mean, maybe they okay. didn't put it in the paper, but so Biden's got the seven point lead over Trump, according yeah, to the New you. York Post, the New York poll uh, uh, showed. And, and like here, Biden's, there it is. There it is. Bi Biden's, Biden's crushing, absolutely crushing Donald Trump in this poll. Now, do I think that this is the end all be all poll? I mean, it's in the New York Post, so of course I do. But <laughs> other than that, um, are we going to talk about this poll now for a month like we talked about the one bad Joe Biden poll? We showed you a poll the other day that was from The Economist, one of the most respected uh, publications on the planet. They had Joe Biden at 50 percent. Do I think he's at 50 percent? Probably not. Maybe it's an outlier. But guess what? I didn't hear the media talk about that for a week and a half. I didn't have like Democrats telling me they had to tear the sheets from their bed because they wet their bed for a week talking about how badly Joe Biden was going to do next year. It's all very selective. I swear to God, it's the one poll, the one poll. And people are still writing articles like in 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 major newspapers saying, well, you know, Biden, you know, he has a 36 percent approval rating and rah, 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 the world's coming to an end. Well, 
New York Post, paper of record. What are they having, Matt? They have been crushing Donald Trump, 47 to 40. The Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.